Hi everybody, it's Mark here. I would like to take just a minute on this uh, scribble cast. It is crude. I'm just using my iPad and my fingers. And I wanted to show you what happens when we have a ground on a ground detection device. Now your ground detection device is this Y connected portion right here. So it's important to understand that's a device. You can see up top here we have the secondary of a distribution transformer of some kind and it's connected in delta. That means it's an ungrounded system. Uh, so in order to provide some safety or at least give us the idea as to whether we have a problem out to our load, and the load by the way over here, it doesn't matter if it's connected in Y or delta, it's really irrelevant. Uh, what is important is that we have three phases, we have or phases, lines rather, we have A, B and C. Those are all lines which give us line voltage. Now, you know, traditionally delta connected secondaries aren't necessarily 208. Some are, some aren't. Uh, but it is considered, this, this setup is considered 12208 because we are going to see in a normal circumstance a phase voltage across each one of these lines to neutral. Now, of course, neutral is the star point. So, and that, of course, is grounded. So if the neutral is grounded, we know that, <clears throat> just going to get this here, across each one of these phases we're going to see normally 120 volts from any one of the lines to ground. Now where, where this device is kind of neat is if you think back to your, your Y delta theory is if we have a ground fault let's say up here at point A that ground fault, it simply means current is flowing to ground. Well, if we were to draw a line to, as to where ground is, ground is right there. And by doing that, by making that, or, or by it shorting to ground, what's happened is we have now made the star point the same point as line A. Okay, so A and ground are now the same point. Well, we all know that we have three lines, A, B, and C, and up till now, across each one of the phases, um, you know, this, this, this would be a phase, this would be a phase, and this would be a phase. And by the way, you guys, um, you know, I'm showing little wee resistors. Those are meant to be bulbs. Your, your ground detection device has three bulbs that are usually rated for line voltage. So in this case, they would have to be rated for a minimum of 208 volts. Uh, back to the fact that now ground or our neutral same point is also now the same point as as line A. I'm sure you can see that if we want to evaluate voltage A to N, that's the same thing as saying voltage A to ground. It's the same point, and that's no different than us doing this, putting a short from A to ground. That means we're going to have zero volts on that particular phase. So then the question has to be asked, well, if we have zero volts from A to, to ground because they're now the same point, all right, what do we have happening across phase B to neutral or ground and phase C to neutral? Well, don't forget, ground is now line A. So if this point is line A right here and this point is line C right here, we have now placed line voltage across that lamp. So this, we could say voltage CA is equal to 208 volts. We can also say the same thing over here. When we look at this phase here, you can see that B is right here and A is right here. We have now just created voltage B to A. And of you, of course, will understand that that is 208 volts. So by applying line voltage across those two phases, here's what's going to happen to your bulbs. Your bulbs are normally seeing 120 volts, which means they have a reasonable amount of, you know, they're, they're, they're bright uh, normally. What we've done is we've made them a whole lot brighter now because we've applied more voltage across phases. What was C to ground is now C to A and across B to ground or B to neutral which is now B to A. Those two lights are going to be bright. Meanwhile phase A to ground or A to neutral is going to be zero volts because it's now the same point which means that lamp will be out. Hopefully that helps you uh, understand 
Uh, ground detection devices on an ungrounded system, they are a great life-saving device. It's a pretty simple concept when you think about it. You know where to find me if, I, if you have uh, any questions, rather, and so hopefully this will have helped you out.